When you look at these, you know, flash signals, whatever you want to call them, alarm bells, should we really worry that a recession is is coming? Or do, do you, again, do you make excuses for kind of almost every single market? Well, the market clearly is concerned, and I think rightly, about the slowdown in global growth. It's been pronounced. Uh, Mario Draghi, in his speech, I thought, said it out the, the situation for Europe uh, particularly <clears throat> well. Uh, but I do think the market is kind of getting ahead of itself in um, effectively starting to price in, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent probability of a US and global recession uh, within the next 12 months, as indicated by the uh, partial inversion of the um, Treasury curve. So, I, as I say, I think the market is getting ahead of itself. I think what it's interpreted is that the Fed sort of cycle has come to an end, yeah. and then historically, sort of six to 12 months later, we go into recession. I don't think that's true. Um, David, what did you hear from Mario Draghi? So you own actually yeah. a lot of the periphery bonds, yeah. right, including Italian and I think Spanish yeah. debt as well. Does it make you change your view on them? Um, uh, we had some of the um, uh, European banks as well, and I thought actually his message was actually quite positive, both for the periphery and for the European banking sector, because he acknowledged uh, that negative rates is not only hurting banks, but more importantly, from a monetary policy perspective, impacting the transition mechanism. So I think there's a strong hint that we're going to get more favourable terms mm -hmm. on Telcho 3. I think that's good for banks, it's good for the periphery. Um, and I think also maybe we might get a tiering of the deposit rate, which would be, again, I think very supportive of uh, European banks, both equity, but from our perspective, uh, debt as well. David, what's the second derivative right now of all these negative rates? You can't take a, 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 a derivative of a logarithm. I get that. I learned that, I don't know, a million years ago. But right now, the rate of change or the rate of change of the rate of change of this new negative rate moment, how bad is it? Or is it something manageable by the banks? Uh, it's, it's something which is, I think, now you know, sending a negative signal and having potentially a negative impact on um, broader uh, sentiment across the European economy. And again, Mario Draghi in his speech talked about the importance of consumption as, as a sort of bedrock for continued growth in uh, the Eurozone. And I think negative rates and, and seeing Bund yields <coughs> go further negative uh, is uh, an adverse uh, impact for, for that. I also do think that clearly mm. negative rates and a flattening of the yield curve is uh, negatively impacting the ability of banks to expand their balance sheets yeah. and their uh, lending books. So I do think this is a, a negative development and needs to be addressed.